So once you're in a nice, you're physically warmed up, we start to warm up our voice now. Um, you don't want to really push any air through your vocal cords before you start, so a really good way of warming up your voice is just to hum. Um, so we start quite low. You can do it an octave higher than me if you need be, but um, I'm going to start at a low A. Here we go. Me, then you. Semitone here. Now your turn, you should feel your face wobbling a bit. Try not to blow too much air out your nose. Well done, that's high enough. And then you can bring it right back down to the start. Again, we're not looking to, for anything crazy, just to warm up your voice a little bit. Um, so that's some Another good thing to do um, is to say ing, like the end of like singing. Or um, again, because you can't really get a lot of air out because you're stopping it with that NG sound. Um, mm, and uh, it, it helps resonate your hard palate. And, and your sinuses, like this. Now you. So the back of your tongue's at the roof of your hard palate, at the roof of your mouth. So you're saying the word ing. Good. You feel all this. This is called your hard palate. vibrating a bit. Remember we did the roll, roll around in your jaw? Now if you feel your jaw wobbling, we're gonna do like a zzz, zzz like, a, like a B does. Um, and if you feel, if your zzz starts going zzz, 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 it means that your jaw's tense. You can just do a few jaw rolls, go back to the start, and start again on the low note. Your 
turn, a little stream of air. You'll find the higher you go, the more tension creeps in. Nice steady little stream of air. Air. Again, it'll get wobbly. If that happens, just go back to the start and start again. Do a few jaw rolls. Your turn. done that teaches you to, to have a steady little stream of uh, air going out through your system through your instrument which helps you to hold notes longer to sing higher you can do it with a V sound like v, with an F sound um, there's all sorts of different uh, ways you can do that um, and yeah again it's all about teaching you not to blow out too much air through your instrument great